Hey everybody, this is Deathlore of the Warped Gamer. Uh, just giving you an update on my sim pit setup. So, if you've watched the first video, uh, you'll notice that I'm actually in a room now instead of um, just in the basement with plastic walls. I've moved into an office in the basement and um, actually have a floor now. So, uh, some of the updates. Um, that I've got here on this sim pit is that um, I've done a little bit of work to the to the side tables. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup. Still has the magnetic bars to connect the side tables so they they can move out of the way completely, so you can get in or out. Or if I'm just working, it's a little bit of a mess. I've got some of my my work computer stuff set up so I can work from home. Um, let's see, so I've added a USB hub on the side of this table, and also I've added this top tier, uh, which I believe was not in the last video, um, just making it similar to the other one, uh, the other table here. Uh, I haven't got lights set up on the other side yet, but with the fan controller, um, Got the fan on this side, but now we've also got the fan on this side. So I've got wind coming from both directions now. Um, I'll eventually add a fan down below by my feet, but for now, that's, that's what I've got. See, that's that's really all the progress I've made. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I got rid of my old office chair, and I've actually got a a different chair set up now. I need to work on a better neck support, and it, this chair's got terrible lumbar support, but um, that'll get fixed eventually. Uh, let's see. I also have a, a tablet for a for an MFD while playing Star Citizen, or any game that supports it. And uh, let's see, oh yes, I've moved the microphone up here now, so I can just pull this down when I'm gaming and then it'll reach, it'll pick up the voice a lot better from there and when I'm done I can just put it up out of the way. And that's my setup. So future things I need to do, I need to add some lights to the left table. Uh, I'd like to add some lights along the the inner rails of the frame down here um, just for some more ambiance and I need to get a staple gun out and staple these lights back up to the to the wood underneath so that they're not in the way but anyways oh I almost forgot on my Flight stick. I was sick of having just four buttons available. I never use the buttons on the base. I think those are stupid. Uh, so what I've done, I've actually um, ran some wires that connect to all the base buttons uh, up into the stick here. I've added a button here. This is a five-way switch, so it's four-way directional, and then a push button. Uh, added a button on the left, the right, and three buttons on the grip. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a button in the thumb rest. So I've got 12 more buttons on the stick there. And I've um, I did something similar with the old T16,000 I had, but it didn't have the five-way directional switch on it so it doesn't have as many buttons but I do have another one that I can use for the left hand if I want more buttons if I want to do the dual stick but um, the HOTA setup just has so many buttons on it it's it's hard to really compete with that so that's it let me know what you think in the comments um, subscribe if you haven't let me know what you'd like to see or if you have any suggestions for this thanks